Ashiwakamaru. Ashiwakamaru, class name Rider, Rida, is a Rider class servant summoned by Ritsuka Fujimaru in the Grand Orders of Fate slash Grand Order. She is also summoned by Ruriheim after the Holy Grail War in Fate slash Requiem. Better known by her adult name Minamoto no Yoshitsune, she was the most famous military commander in Japanese history. Probably only someone like Oda Nobunaga possesses a popularity that rivals hers. However, there are many obscure points in regards to history, and especially the early half of her life from before raising an army is wrapped in mystery. It has been told that at 11 years old, while she was under the care of the Kurama Temple WP, Ashiwakamaru met with the Anmyoji Kiaichi Haugen, some theories say that they were also the Kurama Tengu WP, and was awarded with the arts of war. Kiaichi teaching Ashiwakamaru the secrets were entirely against their will. Ashiwakamaru just seduced their daughter one day to sneak a look at the secrets, causing the fearsome mentor to try to kill her in their rage. Although she was blessed with talent and charisma, Ashiwakamaru was abandoned by her brother Minamoto no Yoritamo, and was defeated together with her attendant Musashibu Benke. Legend. Perhaps this ill-fated commander is probably a being so famous, there is no one in Japan who does not know her name. That recognition is also frequently apparent in the proverb called the sympathy for a tragic hero. Namely, a tragic military commander who, while was overflowing with charisma and holds an innate disposition of a genius, was driven off in defeat at the end of a confrontation with Yoritamo, her older brother who was jealous of this prominent figure's nature, apart from that matter of whether it was distinctly right or wrong. This Ashiwakamaru is unmistakably a monster. In any case, Ashiwakamaru cannot read the hearts of men. She cannot understand this matter, perplexed at her own human being. Love, what is it? Ashiwakamaru inquires. She was left under the care of a temple when she was very young, and she was raised up while as someone unaware of a father's love, a mother's love, a proper parent's love, as well as a love spun from a significant other. If there is only one fact, Ashiwakamaru was a samurai. A samurai serves the Lord and swears allegiance to the Lord. Concerning her, that was the only truth, and with the exception of that, everything else didn't matter. Separated from her parents when she was very young, she was disciplined by a Tengu deep in the mountains, subsequently, she was not able to nurture her humanity. That is the way of a faithful dog. Close to a pure beast, she fights for the sake of her master instead of herself. For the cause of being praised, Ashiwakamaru triumphed. She won thoroughly. That is, she removed all ostentation from herself because that is none other than a choice for a way to slaughter her enemies quite efficiently. Yoritamo was afraid of that, and Ashiwakamaru's circumstances did not make her popularity rise. It may not be discovered that her fangs could turn towards her allies to tear off their attractive yet deceptive outward appearances. They were afraid of her inhuman nature that did not truly fit in with the relationship of gaining profit by having power. After he destroyed the Terra clan WP, Yoritamo immediately began to obliterate Ashiwakamaru. Her social position has not yet settled within their clan, and if he does not destroy her, he will always become anxious about the future. At any rate, Yoshitsune doesn't understand politics. She doesn't understand the hearts of men. If that kin, similar to an antiquated beast, exists, then Yoritamo cannot make the era he is aiming for. It was rumored in the public streets that Yoritamo killed his younger brother at the end of a power struggle. Ashiwakamaru consented. That symposis is correct. Regardless of what intentions Yoritamo had, and regardless of what Ashiwakamaru was feeling, with this state of affairs around her, it was reasonable for Ashiwakamaru to dispose herself, and since the Terra no longer existed, Ashiwakamaru was Yoritamo's next political opponent. Also, as far as Hojo Masako WP, her older brother's wife, is concerned, the likes of Minamoto no Yoshitsune is probably unneeded. Thus, she will behave as if she was her older brother's enemy, doing nothing but fight and die in battle, all in accordance with what her older brother desires. Although Ashiwakamaru thought as such, her subordinates persuaded her, and she decided to escape to Asha WP. And yet, Yoritamo persistently chased her. He saw her not as family, but as an inhuman monster, and chased after her. That's strange. This is somewhat unreasonable. Though, it was human beings that preferred emotions rather than gains and losses. I only wanted my older brother to praise me, but I was lacking something. I am sorry, I could not change up to my last moments. Although Ashiwakamaru was defeated at Ashu, her name was carved into the history of Japan. Without understanding the essence of anyone. Appearance. Ashiwakamaru is a young girl clad in samurai armor. She is summoned as a teenager, 
and says her adult self looks more mature. Personality Ushiwakamaru is a genius swordsman that wholeheartedly adores her older brother, Minamoto no Yoritamo. She respected him as a samurai and loved him for being her brother. Although she tries not to be boastful, she says that he was the most exemplary older brother in the world. Ushiwakamaru likes to have fun. When she was a child, she was rather mischievous since she spent her days playing pranks on adults as a hobby and causing trouble for the monks, all while laughing out loud. Though she is not like that anymore as she conducts herself properly to the best of her ability. For some reason, Ushiwakamaru has some level of acrophobia as she hates high places and never wants to be anywhere high. She was constantly persecuted by those around her in life due to her exceedingly great talent. While there is no doubt that she was an excellent tactician, Yashitsun lacked something vital. That is fear towards the battlefield, she never thought battles were frightening. All throughout life, she was incompatible with the other military commanders. That Yorimoto even held killing intent towards Yashitsun was probably something that she never came to understand in her entire life. For, since she was a genius, having concern towards abilities was something that did not exist in her. But no matter how many times she is betrayed, she still wants to fight for someone's sake. A beautiful swordsman who is disciplined, scolding even her master for any sloppy habits. Despite her beautiful figure, showing an appearance like a flower blooming in the midnight, Ushiwakamaru is without self-assertion. She sometimes speaks as necessary, but she does not have a talkative disposition that can express a beautiful voice that would draw 10,000 people in to listen to it in ecstasy. Also, she does not boast her outstanding arts of war, instead proving it with nothing but results and at the scene of battle. It is possible to say that this person is a paragon of knighthood that discerns propriety and speaks with actions before words, and, someone simply seen as a genuine fighting machine. Because her character is straightforward and not a falsehood, all the established things Ushiwakamaru undertakes completely becomes the shortest, fastest straight line towards the goal. When ordinary people do this, they usually fail and reflect on their failure, and subsequently from that, they consider and polish a variety of plans. The problem is, Ushiwakamaru is a super genius. Because she does not fail at these things, she has grown to as she is now with this unmanageable nature. In battle, Ushiwakamaru is cold-hearted, cool-headed, and the personification of the most suitable hand, but ordinarily, she is a young girl who earnestly wishes to become her older brother's power, to become the head strength, and to want to help this splendid figure. To address this in a few words, a faithful dog with a broken brake. She is faithful, bright and friendly, but somewhere, she is missing a screw, no, it becomes unclear of its whereabouts. Her talent sublimated up to its utmost limits and her extraordinary loyalty becomes intertwined, and a person, master, that notices, this unthinkable genius who, without thinking, is just unreasonably becoming emotionally attached to me for no real reason, won't understand why and might harbor fear at that characteristic. On the other hand, how Ushiwakamaru treats her subordinates is surely demonic. Die so you can make an easy place for me to fight. That is your role. Ushiwakamaru is a girl who really loves her brother and is making great efforts as a girl who really loves her master. That cool behavior that does not get agitated by anything, from there is a ferocity one step short of an unleashed berserkers, and anyone would be bewildered at that. If the master is vexed about, if that enemy's ship is usable, Ushiwakamaru will head towards the ship visibly like a gale while saying, Master, please leave the decisions to me. A few minutes later, she would inform the master about the ship and say, Master, this way to the ship. However, except for the sailors operating the ship, everybody will be completely dealing with the scene of carnage called, being bound for the netherworld. Ushiwakamaru is a cool-headed subordinate, but she too is a person that draws from the blood of the Minamoto clan WP, a clan of which has the origin of the word, ruler, in the past. She is only a faithful dog towards the master, and will display a sadistic and cold-hearted side to anyone except the master. Naturally, much like with her brother, Ushiwakamaru will serve her master with all her heart, fighting until hers or her master's final moments. Ushiwakamaru's wish for the Holy Grail is to be with her older brother. It would truly make her happy. Abilities Ushiwakamaru is a genius swordsman and an excellent tactician. It would be no exaggeration to say that Ushiwakamaru, Minamoto no Yashitsun, is the most famous military commander in Japanese history. Probably only someone like Oda Nobunaga possesses a popularity that rivals hers. Combat Her sword is Yusu Midori, being the sword that beheaded the earth spider, said to have belonged to her ancestor Minamoto Noreku. 
Despite being a skilled swordsman, Ashiwakamaru was unable to the find an opening in Ushiguzan's movements to break through, despite working together with Sakata Kintoki, Benkei, Fumakotaru, and Mash Kirilite. Skills Class Skills Magic Resistance, C rank cancel spells with a chant below 2 verses. Cannot defend against Magecraft on the level of Greater Magecraft and Greater Rituals. Writing, A plus rank all vehicles and all creatures up to the level of Phantasmal Beast and Divine Beast can be used as mounts. However, that does not apply to members of the Dragon kind. Her mount is a white horse called Teugugiro. Personal Skills Tengu's Art of War, a rank a skill derived from the anecdote of Ashiwakamaru having learned the arts of war from a Tengu, an existence beyond humans. Provides bonuses to close combat power such as swordsmanship, archery and spearmanship, as well as skills such as tactics and magic resistance. Charisma, C plus rank Although she is in a form that not everyone likes, there is a strange charm to her that attracts people the closer they get to her. Feet of the Swallow, B rank with her body as light as a swallow, at the Gojo Ohashi Bridge, she has dodged Benkei's terrifying slashes not once but twice. Noble Phantasm Her noble phantasm is the wandering tales of Shanao, the embodiment of numerous legends that were born after Ashiwakamaru became Minamoto no Yoshitsun and traveled to Ashu. This noble phantasm comprises five secret techniques, including Dan no Yura, Eight Boat Leap, If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.